In the Indian tradition, an arti and doing pujas is with fire is common. What is it that happens when one does arti to a guru, a photo of a god or an idol, or on the Ganga? And then people take the arti to apply it to their face. Does something change in the fire after the arti? It is not that the fire changes. If a certain form is exuding certain energy and you do not know or you do not have the capability to simply connect with it and you want to connect with it, fire is a good medium to bring both of you together. As we've been saying, fire has been used in so many ways to bond with each other. Without fire there is no wedding in India because it is being used as a bond to bring people together. Whether physical kind, emotional kind or spiritual kind, Without fire, there is no union. Taking this further, if a certain form, either in the form of a picture or a deity, if it is exuding certain energy, to make yourself available to it, fire is a good means. So, you will see, you enter the Devi temple, if you go... if a few people go stand there, fire, so that they will connect. It's not that she will not connect without fire, she will. But to make you conducive to it, to make you available to it, to make it the way where if... Uh, see, if you're looking at in an elemental way, you cannot connect with peop whatever the earth and water that is there in somebody or something. But if fire is built between people, something gets connected. So, this entire process is to connect you with that dimension. So, the fire which goes around the deity has acquired that, the aura of the fire, not the fire itself, the akash around the fire has acquired a quality of the divine. So, when it comes to you, you don't put your hand into the fire around that, you take the akash and put it to your eyes or put it on top of your head or put it to your heart, you want to take the akash and you want to benefit from that. You're trying to take some element of the divine for your own benefit, to take it and make it a part of yourself. So the whole arati process is an effort in this direction. It is... These are all different things that can assist a person to slowly develop your own fire. But above all, in the yogic system, there are various processes where no fire is lit, all the fires lit are within. So this is what you hear from ancient times, the yogis were doing tapas. The word tapa means heat or fire. So you are generating your own fire, so external help is needed when internal possibilities are not so big. But internal possibilities, if they're created, no external help is needed. That's a simple aspect of it. Fire has brought various aspects to our life. Many temples were built for fire across the world. 
if you use very powerful reverberations in the form of mantras, fire approximately takes that form, you'll feel suddenly there is a certain freedom, a certain release within you. A yogi who wants to access the nature of life, he will focus only on Sarvagni. It's the ultimate fire which holds all other fires within it. You're trying to take some element of the divine for your own benefit, to take it and make it a part of yourself.